Hello guys, this is Chris. I'm gonna do a quick video review. Let's jump straight into it. So this is the first design where we already talked about it, so I won't spend too much time on it. I love these doodles. I think they're a very nice touch. The robot is again quite lovely. I like this, uh, this fine touch here. Um, if there's one thing I would change is probably this main menu. I would make it a bit bigger. Maybe something like this, or I would go with the all caps look. Yeah, I think this would be a bit better. And I would reflect this margin right here, 46 pixels, this in this position. Yep, 46, so something like that. Although, you know, overall, I, I still think this might be a better look, just placing the, uh, the main menu in its regular position. So yeah, something like this, I think that would be ideal. So that's number one. Um, I don't like this look, I would strongly advise against it. I don't think it's a good idea to show uh, a line that changes color like that. Uh, the transition seems abrupt, it seems harsh, unrefined, so stay away from it, when it whenever possible. But uh, there's also another problem here that seems that the line is quite fuzzy. I'm not sure how you created it. Let's see. Oh, this is a rasterized layer. Okay, wow, that, that's a big mistake. You should never rasterize it. You should always use the pen tool and, uh, you know, the drill just create a couple of lines and create the, the shape uh, uh, like that. It seems like the shape is being hidden. Okay, so something like that. So you can easily, you know, adjust the, every anchor point and whatnot. You should never rasterize it. This is, this is not a good idea. It's going to be difficult for everybody involved, for the other designers, for the coders, for just about everybody. So please stay away from it. The rest is pretty good. We already talked about it, like I said before. Uh, you know, I see that my feedback was well received and it was uh, implemented. Um, overall, the biggest problem with this design is the amount of orange. So the orange is lovely, you know, in the top part. So this right here, if we were to cut the website right here, this would be fantastic, right? But when you zoom out and you see the entire thing, you can see how overwhelming it is. So. In this part, that's fine. In this part, in the testimonial section, again, that's beautiful. But when you put it all together, it's just overwhelming. So I think you should really try and tone it down. And if you manage to do that, if you manage to, to, uh, to simplify it, you'll have a much greater chance at winning, especially with these types of sections, which again, this is absolutely fantastic. But if you place orange in absolutely every position, that's just going to be overwhelming, right? Um, another small little thing. I pay close attention to the photo. So this, while it looks lovely and clients regularly love these types of photos. Again, this is absolutely fantastic. You should know that these social media icons being so small, they're not that usable. You should probably increase them at about, let's see, this is, this is 24 pixels. I would say about 30. So at least 30 pixels in order to actually be usable. But if we're talking about 99 designs, then that's fine. Let's move ahead to, to another design. Okay, this is the first time I'm seeing them, by the way. So I'm just freestyling right now. Uh, the first thing that really strikes me is the, the fact that the logo doesn't have enough breathing room. You really need to do something like this and uh, give, give the design enough space to breathe. So something like this is what you actually need. And the same goes for these parts right here. Let's see. Oh, wow. This is actually a separate text layer. This shouldn't be a separate text layer, by the way. Um, yeah. And you know what? I would actually not center, uh, center this, uh, this design, uh, this header. I would place it in the left side as usual. And then I would format this in a much brighter sense, in a much bolder sense. Uh, let's go with Montserrat Black. I would make it significantly, uh, yeah, something like that. Um, and basically, I would do a hierarchy here. I'm not sure if I would, if I would keep three call to actions because again, you have the phone number, you have the email, and the address. I would probably not use the address and uh, do something. Let's see, uh, definitely not this type of gray, a, a darker one. Yeah, I would probably go with something like this and I would increase this guy until it fits. Let's go with left alignment. Okay. Yeah, so something like that, right? 
something like that. And again, you have to center it. You group it, you, you activate the marquee tool, make a selection, you switch to the move tool, and then align vertical centers. And something like that would be a much better fit. And you could potentially put some social media icons or something like that in this position if you feel it's uh, too empty. Let's see. 1200, that's fine. By the way, 1250 hmm. and 15, that's, that's, a bit, uh, that's a bit strange. Uh, never use these, these types of arrows. Nobody is actually going to see them. These are, my God, for ants, for elite snipers, for, for people who have, who have 20 20 vision. Um, you know, when you design that, you know, 300%, these types of things seem obvious, right? They seem like it's not, not a big deal. But when you zoom out and you, you look at it at control one at 100%, you can see that it just doesn't make any sense. Nobody is actually going to, going to see it. Um, high performance marketing, that's fine, but you really need some love and maybe some, 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 some type of additional content here because the hero section seems empty. It seems like this is the absolute minimum that you could do, that you could do. And now if we take a look at the, oh, wow. Okay. So let me just back up. There, there are so many problems with the, with this design, but, uh, it's good because it's going to be a constructive review. Let's disable the uh, the rectangle because it's really gonna Im impede us in our effort to to select layers fast. We're gonna enable a, car a color overlay, something like that. Ten percent or so, twenty percent. Let's go with forty. Okay. Um, and now we need some lorem ipsum here. Uh, this needs to be pure white. It needs to be smaller. I would say about that. Uh, 32 seems fine and something like that. So this would be a much better look, but I would not keep the lot of Ipsum. I would use actual text catered, specifically tailored made for this company. So something that when the client sees it, he's going to, he's going to see the fact that you actually did your homework. You actually put the work in and you tried to figure it out. And obviously the call to action, you really got to see my, my lectures about call to actions. Uh, this is not enough. Uh, and the fact that these values are so odd, it seems like you didn't care about these buttons. So let's do 220 with 60, for example. Uh, and now this is much better. If you're going to capitalize one letter, you should capitalize all of them, right? So let's do this and 16, I believe would be a better fit. Uh, so something like that, and then you would group the entire thing and you would place it in the vertical center of the position of this uh, hero area. Um, let's see what else. This is far too big. I mean, you need to go for something like this yet again. And if I use 32 pixels for the line height, I'm going to keep that value just about everywhere. And it, it really doesn't make sense what you did right here because this section is oh so tiny. You know what? Uh, uh, 250 pixels or so with the margins, with the empty space. It doesn't really make that much sense to, to create a section so high up in the design. So just underneath the hero area and you don't have anything here. So when the client sees this, he's going to see a lazy designer. It doesn't matter if you actually put a lot of effort into it. I'm just talking about appearances. So it's going to appear that you did the absolute minimum, right? So you never want that. You need beautiful content that seems tailored made. Um, the, the image is again, a very big problem because I can see that you actually distorted it. So when you import an image for the, whatever you, you take it from unsplash or whatever, when you import it, you should never do something like this. This is what you did. So you distorted it. You didn't maintain its aspect ratio. What a lot of people do is they, they, uh, begin to resize, but they don't constrain the aspect ratio. So they do something like this real, real quick. And obviously they're going to distort it without realizing it. So you really got to pay close attention to, to these types of things, because this image alone is going to, is going to, it's going to send the wrong message to your client. And yeah, overall, this doesn't have enough. It's, it's not a well-polished design, right? It has so many mistakes. There's no left margin right here. Uh, as you can see, it should be something like this. There's no empty space underneath. It should be something like this. These columns should be distributed. Uh, it doesn't make sense to leave all this empty space right here. This right here doesn't make sense uh, for it to be one single uh, um, field. 
so overall i think you you really need to to watch my course a bit more uh because it seems you you're doing all sorts of techniques that i never actually used for example right here what you did with the lowered opacity with the rectangle on top of a rectangle i never do that if you if you're not happy about the color you should know that you can double click it and just adjust it like that so overall it seems that you as a designer you need to learn more about photoshop in general and about design techniques and then you can come back with, with better designs overall when your technique matches uh, the requirements on 99 designs now let's see another design okay so this is pretty nice i love the image i think it's a, it's a very very interesting one i don't think it this green actually makes that much sense um the problem with it it's it's far too thick so i would keep it at three pixels um so something like that uh, photoshop is gonna think for a while i'm recording it so it's actually gonna think for a while so i'm not gonna do that but uh, obviously the the white space should be should be hidden let's do it like that okay so that's one thing i would do i would not use this type of fake number i mean you have to try you have to you know if the client is from the us search for the fake us phone number you gotta show that you actually put some effort into it this is like mashing you know the zero key it doesn't make much sense try and do something a bit better right find that phone number format like 0800 123 four five six or whatever but don't just mash your your keyboard like that because again the client is gonna show is gonna see that you you didn't put enough effort into it it doesn't show attention to detail right um health is wealth keep this keep this treasure safe okay this is pretty good um i like the the 10 font montserrat okay this is great but uh, this right here I, i'm not feeling it i think you should Oh, and you increase the letter spacing. Okay, probably to match the, the width. So that's a technique that I, I use on a regular basis. But uh, I think you need more content. Again, because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a potential visitor, a potential client, right? I'm a visitor. I, I jump on this website and I see what? Health is wealth. Keep this treasure safe. And what? how does this company actually help me in that sense? What's it about? Is it insurance? Is it... A private medical system thingy what's it about you know i have no idea so the way you format the the text is beautiful but the problem with it is it doesn't tell me anything about the business it does tell me something a little bit about the the business area about the the field in general but it doesn't help me become a paying customer if that makes sense right so the photo doesn't do that for me. The text doesn't do that for me. So then it's very difficult for the business to actually convert people when you design something this vague. You need more content that's tailored made for this uh, business. It seems this is a regular uh, thing uh, uh, across all these uh, designs. I don't like the scroll down thing. I don't think that's a good idea to add it in your, uh, in your design. You could show it as, as a hover state. But overall, I don't think it's a good idea, nor do I, uh, um, do I think this type of arrow is something that you should use. Keep it cleaner. And again, the call to action buttons, you got to realize, you know, j just think about your mobile phone, right? Imagine that uh, this type of button was the, the, the biggest factor in, in, in the business. This is the purchase button, right? So the smallest little thing amongst all other things, you place it, you know, right at the bottom. This is exactly what you're doing right here. You're the you're forcing the user to, to click on a very small button. In terms of size, it's just not the right way to go. Again, 168 by 42. Let's go with 220 by let's say 70, right? So something like this, round it out, then learn more. And then I would actually probably use a brighter shade of green. Something like this, a bit more saturated, right? And for this part, I would probably do something like bold, something smaller. And I would actually, probably I would use a bit more text. By the way, look at what I'm doing. I'm copying text from one part. I'm pasting it in Notepad. And then I'm going to paste it right here from Notepad. Let's actually convert it to a paragraph text. And now I'm going to paste it. 
And because I'm, I did it that way, um, this pasted text is going to be written in the same, uh, in the same uh, format. It's going to keep that previous formatting. If I just uh, control V, control V, hmm, if I paste it directly, obviously the text would have looked exactly like this. So let's say 36, but no letter spacing. So something like that, obviously, give or take. Well, we actually need less. Okay, something like that. I'm insisting so much on the hero area because this is the first thing the client is going to see. So if you don't put enough effort into it, he's just not going to care about your design. He's just going to move on. Uh, speaking about moving on, these icons, really, you have to put in more effort. Um, this one is pretty lovely. This one is pretty okay, but these two, they seem generic. They seem, again, the, the lowest possible amount of effort you can invest in this design. And it's quite a shame because from what I can see, for example, this area right here, this is lovely. You did a great job, right? You did a great job, but this part right here, again, I love the photo. I love the color overlay. Um, I, I love the, the overall format, the layout, you know, with the four columns, uh, with the base rectangles, with, uh, with the low opacity. That's beautiful, but then you, you post this type of icon that just doesn't make any sense. Uh, this is healthcare. The icons should feel premium. They should be upscale. They should be somewhat luxurious. Um, and thinking about that, even though this is actually a lovely icon, I don't think it matches the, um, the overall subject. Healthcare, laundry service. But, you know, it, again, it really depends on the business. You got to think about what they do What's the actual core business? And based on that, you can actually uh, start and think about what type of vibe you want to you wanna portray. This type of icon, it seems friendly, it seems lovely, but it's a, a, a bit childish, a bit friendly, if that makes sense. And considering, again, this is something about healthcare, it should probably be a bit more serious. Okay, this area right here is a complete mess. Um, it's hard to, to actually explain why this is such a mess, but I'll try. Uh, you should never use these type of huge icons. They're never the good look. I mean, this is 300 pixels wide by whatever. It's far too big. It's not arranged in any type of way, you know, centered in any way. The phone number, again, is, is sticking out like a sore thumb. Um, overall, you know, it's, it's not a good look. The, the arrows, nobody actually uses these arrows anymore. So never include them in your design. And um, yeah, again, it, this doesn't show attention to detail. You, it seems, first of all, you shouldn't use light because it's way too frail, if that makes sense. It's far too, uh, yeah, basically you, you can't really see it that well. You can't read it that well. I would suggest using fields. Oh, this is actually, this is actually pure white. Okay. Okay. Now I see you should do probably something like this, but again, with a higher, with a bigger uh, height value, I would say probably about 40. Uh, I would probably use five pixels. I would center it. Uh, mm, yeah, I would probably center it. I would make it a darker gray and instead of light, I would, I wouldn't use actually bold. I would probably use regular or something like that. So yeah, something like that is probably gonna make a lot more sense. I would keep about, um, 10 or 12 or, mm, I would say 20 pixels might be a bit better. This, it depends how many fields you actually want to want to use, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with 10. Okay. So something like this might be a better fit. Let's, uh, let's place them on the left side. 14. And these probably need to be a bit lighter, something like that. So this is the type of form I would see. Again, this is something very basic, very fast. You need a lot of refinement. When it comes down to forms, clients love them. A well-executed form, I should say. So when you put enough energy into a form, 
the client is most definitely going to appreciate it because again, forums are the conversion point. Call to action buttons and forums, these are the types of things that clients absolutely love and you have to put enough effort into it. They don't care about footers, they don't care about whatever subhero regions, about those sections, they don't care about any of that. Because if this button creates a sale, if this form captures an email address, that's the life of a business. So these are the types of things that you should keep in mind. And when you want to do something like this, so this uh, top uh, green line is fine, it's beautiful, I often use it. I would, I would probably use it here as well, again in three pixels, but not here as well. So you got to pick your battles, you know, you, you have to choose uh, the right places for, the, for these designs. We have something like this, and then again, we would mirror the top part with the bottom part. So something like this. Overall, that's it, 20 minutes, that's more than enough. Thank you for watching, there's a lot more to be said. Maybe in the next uh, video reviews, I'm going to do just one design so we can really focus on it. But I hope this was hel helpful and uh, I'm going to go grab something to eat. Thank you. I'm out.